Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So, we have left this little country over here alive far too long. Tade. So we're going to kill him. Let's uh, declare war. Uh, he's a Muslim. He is subject in our court. In his court. Well, we don't really care. Conquest. We, we don't want to keep him as a vassal. We want to kill him. Because he caused us so many trouble. So much trouble. So... Right, now we've got that done, uh, we get rid of this guy who we were just at war with, probably execute him because he was just a random person. We are also in the war with the Abbasids, we're trying to attack the uh, Sultan of Syria. Uh, we're not going to join in in that war of course. So where are we going after Tate? Well I think we're probably going to go up to Mari, once the game lets me. Yeah, we're going to go up to Mari. We're going to go to Karen. We're going to attack them on the way. And we're probably going to... Well, we'll probably attack this country because they're just in the middle of our land. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of go around up here getting a few... Everyone we can get. We'll probably die in the middle of that. It's pretty likely we're going to die in the middle of that. Alright, they're sitting on our uh, capital again. It's not up. Uh, composite bow has been built in the capital, so I think this is the perfect point to build something else. Let's see. Um, okay, so a lot of these ha mean us to have a next level of stuff. Let's see what these give us. See if, we, if there's something we can get that we need. Max population going up. Ooh, that could be pretty good. Meat preserver. Go global movement speed. Horde maintenance cost and global supply limits. That's very, really good. What do we need? Cattle pens. Uh, global winter supply. Also very good. Gert crafter. Um, yeah, population. Camel breeder. Or elephants. Okay, so this is if we move our, our place to somewhere which has one of these things next to it. We could get, say, an elephant camp. And that would allow us to have more... Or elephants. Okay. Ooh, we could also get something that just gives us land sentiment. That'd be nice. Hmm. Anyway, I think we're going to go for this one. The max population, global supply, and... Uh, no, no, it wasn't the right one. Yes, global movement speed. So what we need is cattle pens. Cattle pens, nomad tax, population growth. Okay. Seems reasonable enough. Uh, we should probably call in our allies to this war anyway. Uh, just in case there's one nearby who can stop this uh, from being sieged. There we go. A uh, child needs educated. Okay. Uh, then give us opinion. So we want the highest person in the land who doesn't like us. Which I guess is you. There we go. And we'll continue waiting for the start. We should be moving one more speed level ahead. Yes, everyone's accepting the calls to war. Except from the people who are already at war. Good. This army just happened to be there. We can now move directly to Tade because we're not having to care about going to our own capital first. You need to be educated. I'm sure I just educated you, but maybe it was somebody who looked very much like you. There you go. We'll just head straight at Tade. Um, what else? This army is moving back to Tate, which is good. Uh, Karen joined in in the war, but... They were definitely in the war, like, a second ago, and now they're not. I wonder why that happened. I'm guessing that they were in a different war. Or, like, they had, they've been forced into a different war. Where did Lut appear from? They were in the Abbasids a second ago. Very weird. May you honour your obligation call to arms against Countess of Rukra, who would be part of Rustam's conquest of Kadgar. Or Kashgar. We'll accept, but what war are you wanting us in? Oh, it's up here, I think. So this is the person they're attacking? I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he might still be in the host. That might be why we don't have a thing. Yeah. 
I was wondering where he was, but if he's still part of the host, that would explain a lot. Because uh, he won't have any holdings of his own. Aha, more points. Good. Well, let's peace out of this war. Force demands. Tade is gone. Right. Uh, pillage one of the holdings. We now set it. Give it new vassals. Here we go. Clans want more land. Okay. What land over here do we still have? So we have Grand Jaipur. Wants more grazing land. There you go. You can have this land that's not grazing land instead. Wouldn't that be just as good? I thought so. Right. Well, I guess we'll attack Luck because they just happen to appear out of nowhere. So, there you go. Just move in there. They have a small army, but nothing major. In fact, their army isn't even. It, has, it didn't have any morale or anything. Super easy conquest. Uh, create the Duchy of Merv. Okay. That probably just means he wants things in Merv now. Right. Offer peace, enforce demands. Good. We can now pillage the holding. Get our 50 gold. Create a new vassal. Do clans want more land? Clans still want more land. Okay. So you're three on the grazing land. You are two on the grazing land. You're not any. You're not any. You're not any. So it's just you. So we can give land J. Uh, I, I was caring about borders for a while and then I realised that uh, we were going to have to give out quite this much land. So it's just... Yeah, our borders are a little messed up underneath us. That's fine. Usually vassals will eventually go to war with each other and that'll solve the problem. Um, What's our population like? We can't do invasions yet. I guess it's subordination of... Uh, Baristan. Yep, that'll do. And now we can head into Karen. Call in our allies. We have about 1,000 vassals levies. That's not bad. It is a bit worrying though because uh, they mostly don't like us because we're a tyrant. Grandson. Good. Yes. Everyone's accepting the call to war. We probably shouldn't need anyone. We're just going to go to their capsule and siege it. I think we're going to catch this army as well. Yep. Nice and simple. Easy wars. You have a new heir. Okay, who's this one? Oh, it's that guy again. Okay. That's fine. Talking of heirs, I wonder how our guy's doing up here. Mm, he doesn't appear to have taken any land at all up there. Okay. Uh, do you want to peace out? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll go to the next province along and see how that goes. Oh, they weren't in that war. Oh, okay. Cattle pens have been built. Okay. Or has been built, as it says. We now want to build the, not the uh, oxen wagon, the meat preserver. Meat preserver. There we go. Global movement speed is really good. Because it allows us to get pretty much everywhere we want to go. Like, it's, we use it so often. Like, we travel really long distances so often. A small movement speed boost is great. And it allows us to catch people when they're trying to run away from us. Bazul is no longer a court chaplain. Okay. Well, if we can, we'll put a can in charge of this. Uh, oh, it's chaplain. You can't put cans in charge of chaplain. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go for this guy. And he can research cultural tech in our capital. Fine. Chad likes guardian. You give 
opinion modifiers. We'll choose the person who doesn't like us. Might become Tengri, whatever. Uh, I think we're just going to salt down this one, maybe. Yeah, okay. We'll just salt it down. Done 100%. Uh, I've been corresponding regularly with my sister. Make chance, to, uh, make sure to see her whenever I can. It's harsh world. Okay. Enforce demands. Perfect. So can't pillage those. Can pillage one of these. Let's uh, make these our new vassal. Create new vassals. Uh, oh, that one didn't have any. That was already controlled by somebody. I wonder what determines, uh, like, when it, you need a new vassal. It must be with the person directly controls stuff. Right. Clans want more land. How much? One. Okay. Um, how about Moltan? You'd like Moltan. Is that our last land in India we need to hand out? I think it might be. Oh, no, we got one bit of land over here. That's fine. So we got four provinces and we gave away one. I think that's a good deal. What's the max population there? It actually went down a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's the rest of Karen. We could attack uh, one of these people here. Which I think we should. Uh, let's go for this guy first. We would like to do a subordination of all your land. So we'll go beat up the army who's attacking him. Unless that's not the army that's attacking him. Uh, let's call in all of our allies. They'll probably accept. Cannot join. That's fine. Cannot join. Where's he going? He'll arrive in... Tigris or Hamadan. I think this is the army we're following. It's difficult to tell. All right. That was the army we were following. He's just trying to run away from us. You can't run in circles and get away from us. We go faster than you. Right. Take out this army and then we can siege down the place that's already been sieged, which will be much quicker than it should be. Uh, we caught this guy. Um, is he worth any money? No. Okay, perfect. Um, who died? Looks like we lost a chancellor. Okay. Now, is there any clan chief who's even remotely got any diplomacy? Yes, six. Okay. So I guess we might as well just go for whoever's best, which is this guy, and he can go and improve clan sentiment in. Um, I guess we'll go for Arslan because it's the largest clan that doesn't like us. Or it was the largest clan at one point. Uh, children need new guardians. Okay. So let's go for... SU. And you need to be educated with an, the same with another guardian. Who will be you? Done. Uh, heresies are appearing. Whatever. Not important. A daughter was born to our heir who is not important. Right, another assault. Good, and the trade post. Gonna move between these provinces if we can. Get make sure we get all of them. Um Can Mersal young uh, Cam Mercer the Young. Oh, that's us. Wait, no? Uh, leader of the Lanjani Tlan Tlan has adopted the faith of Mercer and become Hindu. Wait. Okay, so the Arslan Tlan is also Hindu. Wait. Okay, so both of them became Hindu. Oh. Okay, we got two events at the same time, but they refer to different people. 
So we got two Hindu uh, clans there. Very interesting that that happened, actually. Wonder what determines that. Uh, do we have... We don't have control of the siege. And you're not going to give us control of the siege? Oh, there we go. Control, three days. Perfect. 100% will just offer peace. Force our demands. Um, oh, we don't actually get to control any of the land because, of course, we took it all over, so he's just our vassal. Very nice. This place will be next on our list to attack. Just take over one province at a time. Let's wait till the end of the month so we get so, uh, like our army rebuilding. We got meat preserver in our capital. Okay, good. What are we going to go for next? Horse breeder? Nah. Um, oxen wagons? Tempting. I really like the capital movement delay modifier. Because if we're moving, we might want to move our capital a lot. Which definitely helps. Population growth down here, the shrine. Very good. Morale of armies. Technology spread rate. Also increases our trade post limit. Hmm. And that would allow us to have trade posts in different places, which would allow merchant things to give us them, I think. Morale of armies gives us tech points as well. Um, I'm thinking we might just go clan sentiment, like the clan gathering hut. Huh? Just for the two clan sentiment. It's not that important, but it is just a little bit extra to stop us from falling apart. Uh, conquest. Just go in here, call in our app. Well, we don't need to call in our allies. It's only one province. The time uh, clicking through their messages will be just as well spent to completely wiping this place off the face of the earth. Right. Uh, ooh, that's our our nephew, age 65, just uh, died. We're age 61. Okay. Weird. Okay, the book. Mat and away, Namwe, or spiritual couplets, is by some surface regarded as a Persian Quran, and the author Jalad Adin, I give up, believes passionately in the use of poetry and music, poetry and dance as a path for reaching Allah. His Words and teachings are intriguing. I wish to know more about Ruby and his philosophy. Okay, so a court person appeared with that name. Is he like a special event or something? Have I met? There he is. So he's a poet. He's a mystic and he's a scholar. And I think he's a, uh, I think he's an event spawned person. So we need to, I need to figure out what his event does. Uh, presumably we're going to get another one soon, saying he has come to our chambers and he, he would like us to convert to X. Horse demands. Uh, pillage, obviously. A bit pillaging. Then we will create a new vassal. Clans do not want more land yet. So, where are we going next? Armenia, they are our allies, aren't they? Nope, not anymore. We could try and do a subjugation of a lot of land. They're really more of an invasion group. Although the invasions are pretty rubbish here as well, actually. Subordination of Ab... Bania would be pretty good, uh, but it's at the other side. We might as well go to Ab Azerbaijan first. So we'll just head on through. Uh, three children lack guardians. Okay. Well, this person gives opinion, so you can be educated by this person. Might become Hindu. You are inbred, so you can be educated by the worst person in the land. I don't know, let's just go for lowest diplomacy. There you go, you're pretty bad. And you can be educated by... Um, I guess this guy. 
Might become Suminisco. Okay, I'm cool with that. Azerbaijan. Declare war. Well, we can't do it because we don't have any bordering provinces. Let's go into this Abbasid land and prepare to attack Armenia. A Ferusian, uh, okay, Buddhist rebels. We'll definitely call in our vassals and allies for that. Right. A daughter was born to our son, who is... Okay, not important daughter. Everyone's honouring their calls. Good. Well, your liege we want to attack. We would very much like that. Call in all of our allies. We've got 12,000 vassals now. Uh, vassal regiments. That's pretty good. I'm starting to think that we'll be strong enough to definitely take on the Abbasids. By the time we get to this point. Like, uh, be strong enough to take on the Abbasids when we... What's, what's the word? When we die. That's what we're going for. When we get that CB back. Okay, 600 versus 900, not going to assault. In fact, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll take this bit of land. Again, hopefully we'll die so we can take over all of the Abbasid's land. We will have to probably get out of war with them, but I think dying might do that. And yes, I will see you next time. Goodbye.